as I was saying, last night I said I could probably stick this camera up in the sky right now and pull images out from those clouds or beyond the clouds, however this thing works. And I would bet that's true, especially since I see a bunch of horizontal lines in that cloud. As I move the camera, the, the, uh, the lines move, but if I hold the camera real still, I see a lot of horizontal lines. Oh, and those clouds right there got mad plasma. Oh, and they might have something else too. They definitely got plasma though, you can see the, the colors. I'm not sure if you can right now. Usually I would, I haven't experimented with the sunglasses thing yet, but considering what I think I might see in that cloud, I don't wanna mess around too much right now. Kinda just wanna take the video. You know what I'm saying? You see it. Or don't. <laughs> Meet me on the back of the blue bus. Yeah, I extracted Jim's fleet and Paul's fleet last night from MB3's video. So it don't matter whether or not there's one in this cloud or that cloud. There is a massive fleet. Oh yeah, there's definitely something in that cloud. Look at that. Wow, look at that line. Right through the middle of it. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. You can see the little horizontal lines. That's what I was talking about. But that big curvy S-shaped line going through the middle. That's a haul nava level of weirdness. Uh-huh. So what do you think the chances are? Should we, should we start taking bets? Put some money on it before we do the extraction process? Either way, it don't matter. When you see those images that I dropped in uh, on the YouTube that I extracted from Richie's moon, that's no moon. You look at those images I extracted from the so-called moon, that's from the surface. There's also plenty of machinery around the periphery, but Richie's right, that moon ain't no moon. So, it's a done deal. The fleet, the giant fleet, the two giant fleets that I extracted, and you'll notice the curvy S-shaped serpent-like pilot of that craft doesn't change contrast with the lighting adjustments. That thing rising up over the horizon right now. You know that so-called sun. What do you make of it? Is it a double? Did we get a double this morning? It's definitely pretty plasmified. You can see the little colors. Oh, and the solar winds out to the left. They look like they're below the rooftop. I can see it right now in the video. I'll be able to extract that, no problem, but I can see it right now. Those wavy lines that move off to the left, all the other lines are straight light rays. Those little wavy lines moving off to the left, that's the uh, solar winds. That's, yeah. I've seen it before. I've got a, uh, one of my videos has it. I believe on this channel. In fact, I'm sure of it. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I think so. Either way, all that pixelation and the horizontal lines is part of the sky concealment technology. Those rainbow colored light bands just peering over the edge there, that's part of the plasma. And that right there, we're going to find out real soon. Are you on Team Jim or Team Paul? Because both those fleets are headed this way. Is that a vertical? I don't know. I'm going to have to watch it on the playback. What is it? Four minutes, 50? Yeah, I'll have to.
have to check that one out. That looked kind of weird. As does all of this. And the hole in the center? Oh yeah, that's definitely, look at that, okay? It's like the pilot's down low, hanging off the bottom. <laughs> wow! This is crazy. But it's gonna get crazier. You look at those images I extracted from the so-called moon, from Richie's video, that ain't no moon. You look at all the stuff in there. That's from the moon's surface. It's either lots of, lots of, lots of buildings, but why do they look more like microchips? I don't know, but you look at the stuff I extracted from Richie from Boston's moon video last night, along with the fleet that's headed this way from wherever they're headed from, but I got it from MB3's video. Uh, I extracted what he showed up as the V or a triangle that goes clear to the ground, and on the other one, the static particles, and they, they're both giant fleets. Yeah. Which I suppose is in the middle of that. Here we go. Are you ready for the big ride, baby? I tell you what, I wouldn't be. If I had seen all the stuff I've been seeing lately, before I developed a relationship with Christ, I would be panicked, just like everyone else is gonna be. Completely panicked. I can almost point them out from here. I don't want to stick my hand right in front of the lens though and ruin what, I, what I'm filming, but there's definitely a lot going on right here. Yeah, I used to question my sanity when I say such crazy things, but these days, it's just par for the course. And, uh... Ain't no yucking gonna be going on real soon. Oh, is that a triangle right there in the middle pointed down and to the right? Yeah, probably along with whatever shadowy thing is uh, on the bottom center. Yep. We all getting ready for the big ride, baby. Oh yeah, that's some blue bus action right there. Total blue bus action. I don't even have to extract it, you guys. It's getting so common. It's it's like anywhere you point the camera. And when those uh, sky concealment technologies using whatever they use, uh, Final Days is a YouTube website that depicts these sky concealment technologies that she refers to as the, she calls the sun simulator their black dot technology because it has a black dot in the middle. I guess she don't like the it's become cliche already. Sun Simulator. Most people have never heard of it, and if they did, they think you're crazy. A year ago, I'd heard of it. I even wrote of it in my original writings and said, I don't know if there's a fake sun circling a flattish earth now. There's no doubt. 100%. So, get ready. We're all in for the big ride, baby. Yeah, I don't want to get off this one. This one's got too much going on right in front of me. What am I doing zooming out there in the distance? You don't have to look around. Look straight up. You'll see them. Yeah, look at that. Uh, those images I extracted from the moon, from Richie's moon video. 
I said before I even extracted it, I said that'll probably be my next upload. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go extract some stuff and I'll bet you I see some stuff. You go look at what I saw. And that's just from the surface. I haven't extracted all the machinery from around the edges and the periphery yet. That is all from the surface. If that's what it is, a surface. But as you watch these swervy, curvy lines forming in the clouds right before us, and then all the lines, I mean, I've been watching, how long, how long are we into this? 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 30? And look at all the action you've seen just in the last couple minutes. And I can see some colors in them clouds too. Which is just an everyday thing. Yeah. Most people are too busy, you know, I, I don't blame them. If I didn't know anything about what I know, I would be going about my life as usual too. But that's a choice to not know about the, everything that's going on at this point. If you're still oblivious and going about your life as if nothing's changed or whatever's changing, it'll be just fine and everything's okay and everything always changes a little, you know, then that's a choice. Can you picture what will be so limitless and free? It hurts to set you free. Oh, see, look at this one. See that? What is that? What is that? Forming in the cloud right before our eyes. Well, clouds always kind of get wavy and serpenty looking like that, man. You tripping. No, I'm not tripping. This is real. Get used to it. It's gonna take the world by storm, and when it does, this is the end of all that stands. Lesson, of course, you get on that blue bus. And hey, I don't know, maybe you know that the other Paul's fleet, there's like Paul's fleet and Jim's fleet. Uh, one of them's definitely got a serpent-shaped pilot on that craft that does not change colors with the contrast. The other one looks like it might have a little humanoid. I don't know. You want to roll the dice? <laughs> I already know what I'm doing. Oh, let's check this out since it went behind the sun. No, I can't check that out. Look at this. See those wavy lines? Maybe that's electromagnetic frequencies. You're hoping. You're praying. Mm-hmm. Oh, and by the way, that thing on top of the building has teeth. After careful reconsideration, the mouth of that critter only covers one stovepipe. And last night, when after thinking about Zool, the key master of Ghostbusters, I went and uh, looked it up for whatever reason, just followed the prompting, and that entity on top of the building, on the right-hand side of the tower, that's doing battle with the serpent on the upper left-hand side of the tower, that entity has teeth. At first I gave it all the uh, potential possibility that maybe I'm just seeing the stovepipes lining up in a weird way. I've since looked and seen the mouth only covers one stovepipe wide and I even looked in the background. Well maybe there's a bunch of stovepipes in the background that are coming through and because they're in the distance they kind of form... No. No. That's not what's happening, Captain. Driver, where are you taking us? It hurts to set you free, but you'll never follow me. Because you, you know, like all of us, you believed in what you were told. We grew up in a world where we trusted our parents and stuff, you know? and the authorities and all that. So no one's to blame for buying into that BS, okay? If you, if you end up sticking to your guns and not gonna buy into all that crazy nonsense, then you're not to blame. That's just logical and reasonable and rational. But considering everything starting with, oh, I don't know, the moon on its back 90 degrees. Maybe such logic and reason and rationale is uh, actually inappropriate at this point. What's that on the end?
I uh, can't really see, but uh, yeah, actually I can, absolutely, it's a square. Two right angles right there at the end, see that? It's getting to the point where it's visible with the naked eye, yo. Yeah. And then there's another little serpent uh, forming to the right of that square in the same cloud. And when the sky concealment technologies drop, and these, e even if some of them are benevolent and here on our behalf, you'll never take their help. You're going to be in a desperate land, desperately in need of a stranger's hand and unwilling to accept it and reach out because your consciousness still refuses to allow you to. Yeah, I can see lots of pixelation going on in the, in, the, uh, in the video right now before ever even extracting anything, which tells me I'll be able to see this stuff without even doing the contrast. That plasma enables you to see stuff without even doing the contrast, like Mr. MBB333. In some of his videos where you pause it and zoom in, he says zoom into a still shot. He puts it in great big bold print, but he's, it might mean that that's what he has done. He zoomed into a still shot for you. No, he's putting it on great big print for you to do it. <laughs> He's slick. He uses that wiggle room wording, so anyone that uh, isn't ready for this doesn't have to be forced. Because those are the people that are going to cause panic. Pandemonium, and they will be dangerous. So we're at the point. You see how that cloud just kind of disappeared now? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, so I wouldn't doubt that that, uh, I don't know, just watch that thing I extracted from the moon and then, and then we'll, we'll talk from there. Let your mind start reeling when you see the images I extracted from the moon last night. The so-called moon, either, I, I, I don't even want to start guessing, I'll let you start guessing. F what you heard, just believe what you see. I can see that the horizontal lines I was speaking of, they bend downward right there, just below the sun. Those are the plasma lines. Like literally, I'm being able to see it in the camera now. Wow. Hmm. So, glad I got to me some iodine. We might have some friendlies over here. So, remember when I said it ain't gonna be as easy to, as easy as choosing between not go, just don't go with the guy with the red horns and the flaming tail and the pitchfork. You might have to actually choose which reptilian alien alliance you're going to join. And I even said, are you ready to make that decision? I was joking at the time. I'm not anymore. That's how quick this is moving. So. Oh, and uh, Ghostbusters, the fact that they use the same exact looking thing as I saw on the top of that building, think that's just coincidence or more predictive programming because movie makers, just like musicians, are tapped into this off-world thing. And they either like to do predictive programming, revelation of the method, mock us, speak to each other within their own coded languages, but that Zool, you know, Zool, it comes alive in the fridge and it's like pretty much the main star of the show of Ghostbusters. And it looks exactly the same as that entity I saw on top of the building. I created a little, a little slideshow, putting images of the two together. And then you gotta ask yourself, why are gargoyles hanging off the edge of the cathedrals? And those are probably questions that are just way too far for most people to even ask. And that's why we're so far behind in knowing what the hell we're doing here, or who we are, or where we are. So, we should have been asking those questions a long time ago, but instead we just chose to keep our head low, don't want to cause waves. You see that stretching, jutting light at the top of the sun? Right there. Uh, that, there is no cloud there. And even if there was, it shouldn't do that. These days it does because that's part of the glare technology and how it works. The light literally reaches out to the, to the clouds in order to like cover things up. Uh, 
pity the fool. Everyone was like the guy in the Matrix who just wanted to go back to eating steak and, and enjoying life and pretending it's all, all good. We're about to be free. We're about to get free, man. Some of us. The rest of us are going to have to come back for round two. But that's okay. I mean, there's always round two and three and four. But I'd sure like to see a few people wherever we're going to end up. Because I think I'm going to end up somewhere different than y'all. Most of y'all. And by end up, I mean, oh, here in the next maybe 24 hours to 24 days. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a good estimate. That's not too conservative on the uh, 24 days. We probably... I don't know, man. <laughs> the way things are going, we probably don't. Honestly, when I said... When I said we got a week or two at most, that was like two days ago, and now all that's transpired in the last couple days. Seems like that clock's ticking faster and faster. And whatever's happening is going to culminate in a crescendo of events that's going to change everything before it does. I would suggest getting on your knees and praying to Christ. People are probably scared to even pray to Christ now. They see all the stuff I've tapped into and the stuff I'm presenting and showing them. Probably like, oh, I don't know, maybe maybe Christ was the was the counterfeit. Man, that Jeff, he's sure off now, ain't he? Oh yeah, I can imagine it. Mm-hmm. F what you heard, just believe what you see. And what you're seeing is not being explained by your church. Or your government officials. Starting with the moon on its back. That's not a that's not an anomaly. That's not like a fake thing. That's not like a conspiracy theory. That's a reality of our world that we just kind of accept and try to move on, and that's been the problem. We just accept things and move on and deal with it as if, well, someone else will figure it out. Not my problem. I'm just puny little me. What am I gonna do about it? If all these government officials and all these smart people in the higher institutions of education can't figure it out, it's up to them to do something about it. It's not my job. What could I do? It's that kind of attitude that keeps people stuck. That's not being the author of your own authority. When I seen that the cops could do nothing the other night, I decided I'm the only one that can. They're bound by technicalities of the law. I can chase this guy around and watch him, and I guarantee <clears throat> he was looking over his shoulder. So if he tried to run that ruse on someone else, it didn't work. They could tell he's looking over his shoulder and nervous now, wondering if I'm around the corner watching him. Because if he gets away with it and someone invites him into his house, and I follow him to that house, then, uh, then what's he going to do? So I'm pretty sure he packed it up and went home if they didn't just send him straight to jail when they pulled him over at the exits, because... They had the exits blocked. I saw a cop sitting. There's only two ways out of town. Three. There's three ways out of town. And maybe some back roads that I don't know about, but whatever. Gots to be the author of our own authority, guys. You gotta choose. That's the thing. When I said you, you better be ready to make a choice between which alien reptilian alliance you want to join Jesus or his brother I mean seriously why would we not ask that question Jesus and Satan are brothers Satan was the serpent in the garden that's like a two year old question a five year old question so Jesus was a serpent too mommy they're brothers right uh, uh, do not compute, do not compute. But what I can definitely compute is that when I could do some contrast extraction right now. And there's things in the sky, invisible to the naked eye, that won't be for long. 
Just like uh, logic before authority has now spotted three of these UFOs in the sky doing the directed energy weapon thing over Notre Dame. So this uh, intergalactic war, there are people on this planet who have been well aware of and in contact with these off-world entities for a long time. But for the longest time, it was mostly just radio frequencies that would come through and androids like the Greys. <laughs> like TARS in the movie Interstellar that they sent through the time bounce. The other thing that can come through is radio wave frequencies. So, the things that were trapped under the ice in Antarctica, they got some people, they sent through their radio wave frequencies and prompted some people and gave them some knowledge and said, here, build this machine, melt this piece of ice, get us out of here. And when you live 50,000 years, 2,000 years ain't shit. And that's what they did. I'm gonna try and keep that lens flare in the middle because I'm seeing a lot of those little wavies. You see the wavies? Well, yeah, that could be wind currents, you know? Sometimes wind currents make that. Sometimes. Not repeatedly, over and over and over. <laughs> like everywhere you look. Which is, seems to be the case this morning. Huh? Okay. I know it sounds crazy. But, like I said, don't worry about how it sounds. Look at how it sees. <clears throat> the stuff we're seeing is all gonna sound crazy. So if you think you're too cool to buy into it, cause you're not that, you're not a, uh, you know, you're, you're more level-headed. You got your feet on the ground. You ain't got your head in the clouds. You need to lose your grip. Lose your grip on reality right now. Otherwise you're going down with the reality you've been indoctrinated with. The only way you're getting out of this is to lose your grip. Man, this guy's totally lost his grip, man. 